Hey guys, this is Slyman. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to update a Celestron telescope or computerized mount with the Celestron firmware manager. And the reason I had the idea for this tutorial is my Nexstar ASE started to give me some major issues lately, and it was really frustrating, and I wanted to just send it to Celestron, have them send it back in time for the eclipse, but I didn't know if their turnaround time was good enough for that. So I thought, how could I fix this thing on my own? The problem was with the directional keys. Every time I put, would push one, kid you not, it would take about two seconds for the telescope to actually move. So I'd push it down, look in the eyepiece, and there was just no movement. So I'd let go, and then two seconds later, it'd move. And I thought, whoa, this is a really, really weird issue. It was really frustrating. I tried to uh, drive around in orbit on the moon uh, with like a six millimeter eyepiece, had really good seeing, and it was basically unusable. And it was just really frustrating to me. I've had that telescope for five years. I've had the Celestron firmware manager for the same amount of time on my computer. And I thought to myself, you know what? Just randomly one day, you have never updated your telescope once since you've had it. I thought, oh man, maybe that's the issue. Maybe if I got an update, it would fix these things. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. It's what, what do you lose, you know? So I, so I connected the telescope to the CFM and it downloaded about 25 or 26 updates, something ridiculous like that. And I went out to use it the next night, and all my issues were solved. It was so great. I thought, oh, man, I definitely got to update my telescope more probably every six months or every year or something because that totally solved all my problems. The directional uh, keys work great now. The slews are even more accurate, and it's just it just solved all the problems. There's no need to send it back now, and my telescope is still great after five years. So that's the basis behind this video. I will show you how to update your telescope with the Celestron Firmware Manager. And if you ever have any problems, I'd recommend trying that first before sending it back. So stay, stay tuned and we'll get going. All right, so the first step that we need to take in order to update our Celestron computerized mount is to download and install the Celestron Firmware Manager to our computer. Um, I'm using Windows 10 and to do this, you'll need Java because it is an executable jar file. Uh, so Celestron Firmware Manager, to run it, you'll need Java on your computer. Uh, so once you've done that, you can just come to the Celestron support website. It's just software.celestron.com, and you can download the CFM here. Or you can uh, go to Celestron's main website, which is just celestron.com, and there's a link to the support page, and you can find it here. Uh, so you want to download the CFM.zip, so we'll hit Save File. And then now that that's downloaded, We'll go ahead and open up our Downloads tab and open up the zip. And once you've opened the zip, I like to just take the actual folder itself and move it to the desktop. And once that's done, I'll make a new shortcut and browse. And now that we're on the desktop, um, it should be there, that folder, and it is. And then we'll select this executable jar file titled CFM. So that's hence where the Java comes in, cfm.jar. And we'll hit next, and I'll just name this shortcut CFM. All right, now that's named, I like to just move it over here, and we got a nice Celestron firmware manager shortcut. We'll click on that, and it should just open right up. And then once it's opened, it should download all these packages. And all packages successfully downloaded. And then a warning comes up that there were serial ports on your PC, but we didn't find any uh, devices attached to them. So you need to connect your telescope. So I'm going to click out of that for now. Um, you have your list of devices here. And then once we have our telescope um, uh, connected to the computer, we'll hit Seek Devices. It will find the telescope, and then we can update it. So we'll go from there. All right, so the next step in updating your Celestron computerized mount is to actually physically connect your computer to the telescope. And I think it's fair to say that most computers don't have a serial port on them anymore. Um, so if yours doesn't, you'll probably need to get a uh, USB to serial adapter. And that way you can connect your telescope to the computer. Uh, the jack end will go in the bottom of the hand controller, and then obviously the USB goes into the computer. Once you do that, um, we'll, go, we'll get going from there, and you'll actually turn your telescope on and set it up to be updated. So we'll go from there. All right, so now that our telescope is connected to the computer, um, we go ahead and turn it on. And now that it's on, we'll hit Seek Devices, and it will say Seeking Compatible Telescopes, Nexstar Plus, and it'll show your hand controller there. 
CFM has discovered a device. And I'm using the Advanced VX because I already updated my SE. Um, and so it detected the Nexstar Plus and the Advanced VX. And then all you need to do now is click on Update and it'll say Loading Package. And there's two updates. Looks like actually there's 11 for um, the the GEM portion. So the next R Plus had a couple updates. Meanwhile, your hand controller shows CFM request, so it's recognizing the computer. And our updater bar is just going along here. Update number four. It's just really easy to use, which is nice because you'd think it'd be a little complicated, but it's really not complicated at all. So, All right, and then we'll just let this finish updating here. All right, and the last one is going through now, number 11. If you notice here, uh, it says using portal COM4. And that's from the, uh, the adapter. Uh, it thinks it's using COM4, um, so it auto-detects that. You don't have to worry about it at all. And then it says all your devices are up to date. So even my advanced VX, uh, I think I, it went so fast that I couldn't tell, but I think the Nexstar Plus had two updates and the advanced VX had 11. So um, I've only had the advanced VX for a few years, and just like that, there's 13 updates for it. So. That is how you uh, update your telescope with the Celestron Firmware Manager. When you're all done, you can just click out of there and uh, you are good to go.